everyone, Angelica Neiman, Miss Milwaukee Area 2020, and today in the Craft Chronicles, we're talking all about our appreciation for nature. Earth Day is in the month of April, and so with that, in celebration, we have a lot of environmentally friendly activities for you and your family. So our first one over here is I highly recommend going on a hike together, a trail, or even just a walk. Collect different items in your pocket that you find that would be in nature, such as we have grass here, some rocks, leaves. We even found some fun paper clips, a dandelion, a pine cone that I painted and added some sequins to, and then we planted a, sea, a tree in honor of Earth Day. And each leaf represents something that is great about the tree that gives back to the environment, gives back to us. And so that's just a great visual and a great learning tool. The next is our tulip here. So all you're gonna do is take colored paper, cut out the flower that you want, add a pipe cleaner, some leaves over here, and then any kind of dirt. You can get creative with the dirt. Um, I just decided to put some beads in there. You could put buttons, whatever you want to do for the dirt. And then I thought, since we are having some time where we're away from our loved ones, a great idea would be using this doorknob, telling your family, your friends, your neighbors, your grandparents that you're thinking of them and then packaging up your tulip real cute like this and putting this on their door. While we can't be with them, they're still in our heart. Our next one is about the aquarium. What's great about this time is there's a lot of virtual tours with museums and even NASA are hosting a lot of tours. So I have here something really cool. So you can take off the cellophane, but it kind of gives that fishbowl visual. But if you decide to take that off, you want open water. This is what it looks like. A great opportunity for you to learn about the different fish and aquarium life. You can get really fun and creative with a picture like this. And you can even frame it, put it in your house. The next one I want to talk about is our wind chime here. So I found this in our house. I thought it was such a fun, creative idea. So you can first start out with a water bottle. You're going to cut that in half. You can decorate however you want to. So we have some pictures of kittens in this one, but you can, again, be creative however you want to. You're gonna punch holes in the bottom of your water bottle here. And then these are from cans. They're the lids. So then you just punch a hole and you attach them with some fishing wire. And then you've got a wind chime. Even some bird seed around. You could roll it in bird seed or something like that. The last one over here, I'm gonna put that over here so you can notice this one. All right, so the dirt is actually espresso. And then what we have here are all different popsicle sticks. And we've got vegetables, flowers. We even decorated some rocks. You can have fun with it and start out planting seeds. And then halfway through the month, you can switch and start to make them grow into your virtual garden. So these are just a couple great creative tips to celebrate nature and enjoy our springtime here together, some wonderful crafts, and I hope you enjoy and stay tuned for more Craft Chronicles.